So as soon as the Bangladesh bank attack was announced, banks all over the world reviewed their security procedures and put improvements in place. The problem is complex, um, and there's so many ways that malware can exist. They've actually been taking part in multiple cyber attacks since that large-scale attack on the Bangladesh Bank. Um, what we are seeing is much more of a convergence of high-end crime being carried out by organised gangs um, and including nation states. They've compromised legitimate websites of financial regulatory bodies in Poland and it looks as though that was with the intention of Polish banks visiting that website and the Polish banks being compromised. So a watering hole attack is where a threat actor will compromise a legitimate website in the hope that their victims will visit that website and be compromised through that. So one of the things that we saw in the Polish and Mexican um, watering hole attacks was a, a false flag operation, basically. So the attackers planted uh, Russian words within their code uh, to obscure or spoof the origin of the malware. Um, and once analyzed, um, the investigators, we could determine that um, the translations were done by a non-native Russian speaker. Uh, part of the reason for a false flag operation um, could be because they uh, would want to uh, buy time before they were caught, but the main reason is probably so that it can obscure their identity and they can remain hidden and continue with their attacks. One point that I believe we need to learn from as we continue as a community to defend against these evolving threats is that the bad guys don't have any barriers that stop them sharing information. It's bought and sold in some cases. The methods used to circumvent the security systems that we put in place, information about that is shared on the dark web and shared between criminal groups. We need to make sure that in the security industry and the financial crime prevention community, we also share that intelligence. We share our understanding of the threats out there and we share the methods that we're using to protect consumers and customers against them. Um, they do need to uh, make sure that they are um, not just having a tick box culture but they are actually being effective in, in, the, in the fight and doing their own um, processes, procedures, checks to the best of their ability. We still need to remember that you know, putting controls and, and fighting money laundering will stop criminals exploiting people and, and policies and, and civilization and that's something we should all be battling for. So we've seen this group carry out disruptive attacks on companies and targeted attacks on banks. Where are they going to go next? <laughs>